We're going to give God the praise today. Oh, is he worthy? He's still worthy. Come on, let's give him praise one more time. If you came to praise him. Hallelujah. God, we love you. We magnify you. We glorify you. Thank you for another blessed, beautiful morning. Thank you for who you are. You're God and God all by yourself. Have your way in this place. We've not come for shape, form, or fashion. We've come to magnify you and to glorify you. God, have your way in this place. Touch, heal, and deliver. And those that are watching virtually, let your power resound in their place where they are. Thank you for the victory. Let your word touch, heal, and deliver. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, let's praise him one more time. Hallelujah. to God come on and give glory to God that's it give glory to God come on and bless his name give glory to God give glory give glory to God give glory to God he's worthy of the praise Yes, he is. Give glory to God. He's worthy of the praise. Give glory to God. Give glory. He's worthy. Give glory to God. He's worthy of the praise. Give glory to God. If you don't mind worshiping, lift up holy hands. Give glory to God. Give glory to God. Yeah. Lift up holy hands. Say. Give glory to God. Oh, lift up holy hands. Give glory to God. Lift up holy hands. Lift up holy hands. Give glory to God. If he's been good to you, shout hallelujah. Yeah, give glory. Shout hallelujah. Yeah, give glory. Shout hallelujah. Yeah, give glory. Give him a shout of praise. Give glory to God.
Give glory to God. He's so worthy, yes. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Give glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Song is I'm glad to be in your service one more time. Help me sing it. I'm glad to be in your service. Glad to be in your service. Glad to be in your service one more time. Didn't have to let me live. Didn't have to let me live. I'm glad to be in your service one more time. Come on, lift your voice and say it. Glad to be in your service. Come on. Glad to be in your service. One more time. Yes. He didn't have to let me live. Didn't have to let me live. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, I'm glad to be in your service. Yes, I am. I'm really glad. Let me live. I'm glad. One more time. One more time. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm going to put your hands together. Oh, one more time. One more time. I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad, glad to be in your service, glad to be in your service, glad to be in your service one more time. Didn't have to let me live, didn't have to let me live. I'm glad to be in your service oh, one more time. One more time, I'm glad. One more time, one more time, I'm glad. I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad, yeah. I'm truly glad. He woke me up this morning, holding my right mind. I'm truly glad. One more time. Yeah. Yes, yes, oh yes, my 
soul. Say yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is why I say yes. He's been so good. Can I get a witness in this place? Oh, he's been so good. Yes, he's been so good. He's been so good. Y'all, he's been so good. Yeah. He's been so good. When I didn't know which way to turn, he made a way. When I didn't know how to get out of what I was in, he made a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God made a way. Yes, he made. I know he made. He made a way. He made a way. Nobody but Jesus. He made a way. And this is what he showed up and did. He brought me out. He brought me out. God brought, he brought me out, he brought, Jesus brought me out, when I got bound into stuff I had no business being in, he brought me out. I know you've been good all of your life, but I was sinking deep in sin. But Jesus brought me out. When the doctor gave up on me, he brought me out. When family and friends didn't want nothing to do with me, hey, he brought me out. He brought nobody but Jesus. Come on, if nobody else but him did it, somebody said nobody but Jesus. Come on, if you're not afraid to testify, say nobody but Jesus. He brought, he brought me out. Yes, he did. He brought me out. Did he bring you out? Yes, did he make he did. a way? I don't know about you, but he spared my life. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. I don't think you know how good God is. Ah, yeah. Out of all we've been through, he hallelujah. spared us. You ought to shout thank you. I know you got masks on, but heaven can hit you. You ought to shout thank you. 
He's been Thank better you, than Jesus. good. Hallelujah. Better than we could be to ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but I should have been dead. I could have been dead. Yes, sir. Sleeping in a cold grave. Oh, yeah. But he spoke one word and made all that behave. And yes, I'm he here to tell you. He brought me the out. Lord's been good. Yes, he has. Yeah. And when I think about the goodness of Jesus. Yeah. And all he's done for me. I can't sit quiet. I can't look cute. I, I've got to lift my hands and tell him thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me help us. That's why we came here. Yes, sir. I said, that's why we came here. To make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. We came to magnify him. Yes, For all he's done. For who he is. He's, he deserves our praise. Yes, sir. Doesn't he? Maybe I'm the only one God's been good to in here. No, sir. He's been good to me. I don't have time to tell you how good he's been. Yeah. It could have been you on that ventilator. Y'all in here, you got a mask on, but you could have an oxygen mask on. That's how good he's been. You could have a ventilator down your throat. That's how good he's been. You couldn't even know your own name right now. That's how good he's been. You probably had to help somebody. Somebody had to help you dress yourself. Not me. That's how good he's been. Mm. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. I don't want, I, I think the devil don't want us to praise him. He know if we praise him, he'll bless us. If we praise him, blessings will come down. If we praise him, deliverance will come. If we praise him, your child will act right. If we praise him, your body will get healed. If we pray, anybody need a blessing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen. Sometimes you got to shout your way through. You don't know what prayer to pray. You don't know what to tell God. The most you can do is holler, thank you. Thank you. Let me, tell, let, let, let me share this. I shared it years ago. This might help somebody. Years ago, I had an off-white suit. I used to love to wear it. Didn't wear it too often, but when I put it on, it did something for me. But one Sunday morning, I went to put it on. It had a big spot on it. I tried everything and I thought about it. Went to my laundry room. There was a bottle right there on the label. It said shout. Y'all know about shout, don't it? I put a little shout on it. The stain came out. That was my sermon for that Sunday. When you can't pray it out. When you can't figure it out. Woo! Sometimes you gotta shout it out. Sometimes you gotta go crazy and lose your mind. Somebody give God some praise in here. You make the devil mad when you shout. Cause he thought he had you defeated. He thought you would give up. He thought you would get back, but you came a little closer. You came a little further. I tell you, God is good. Can somebody shout, God is good. He is good. You 
might not know what praise can do, but I know what it's done for me. Uh, let's go to John chapter 19. Hallelujah. And verse number 30. Just for a moment. John chapter 19 and verse number 30. When Jesus therefore received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Thank you, ushers. You may be seated. I won't talk about it is finished. It is finished. We're now at the end of the life of Jesus. He's come to do and complete what he was destined to do, and that is to die. There was a purpose for his dying. I, I want you to understand real quick, he didn't just die, but he died on purpose. Y'all going to get it. It, it. Had he not died, none of us would be here. None of us would be watching virtually had he not died. He didn't just die, but he died, I told you, on purpose. His purpose was to reconcile man back to God and to join the hand of man back to the hand of God. Listen, when Adam and Eve fell, we became enemies to God. Even though he gave birth to us or birthed us and brought us here, we were still his enemies because uh, David records we were born in sin and we were shaped in iniquity and in sin that our mothers conceive us. Is that right? And so because of the transgression of Adam and Eve, we are now aliens where God is concerned. But God wasn't satisfied with that. Oh, y'all help me. He gave his only begotten son. I don't have a church here. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but shall, y'all should shout right there, have everlasting life. Listen, he could have let us stay sinners and bust hell wide open, but thank God for his amazing grace. Is that right? Ephesians 2 and 8, for by grace are you saved through faith. It is the gift of God, not a work lest any man, help me, should boast. Thank God for his amazing grace. And so, and now he's hanging on the cross and he utters seven agonizing cries from the cross. And the sixth cry is what we want to centralize on today. It is finished. Well, the, the word in the Greek, see, it's three words here. It is finished in the English, but in the Greek, it's only one word. Do I have a witness here? It's, it's testa lestai, testa lestai, which means uh, different things depend on your background. Uh, to, to, to the shepherd and to the priest, when they found a worthy lamb to sacrifice for the sins of the people, when they found the right one, they would say, tested lest I, which means it is finished. Do I have a witness here? To, to the merchant, to the businessman, when they closed a deal and all of the debt was satisfied, he would say, tested lest I, which means it's paid in full. I don't think y'all hear me. Let me back up in a minute. Yeah, when the, when, when the, sh the shepherd and the priest found the worthy lamb, they, they would say testilesta, I mean, we found a lamb fit for the sacrifice. Well, when John saw Jesus coming uh, down the road, he said, behold the lamb of God. Help me, which take away the sins of the world. The merchant would say when he closed the deal, testilesta, it is paid in full. Well, sin required a payment. I can't get no help here. Romans 6, and I believe it's 23, the wages of sin is... I can't get a Bible reader. Is debt. Yeah, he, he paid a debt he didn't owe because we owed a debt we could not pay. Am I right about it? And, and sin required a payment. And so in order to satisfy that debt, Jesus had to die. 
and, and he re realized and recognized that he was paying a debt. So on the cross, he said, test the less die, which means it's paid in full. Do I have a witness here? See, that's shouting material there because it should have been us on the cross. But the apostle said he's the perpetuation for our sins. He's the substitute for us. I should have been on that cross. You should have been. Now, now, now we talk about they kill Jesus. Ain't no they kill him. We kill him. Our sins drove him to the cross. Am I right about it? And, 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 and so, yeah, yeah, he is now on the cross saying it is finished. And, and, and to the servant, when the servant accomplished what his master ordered him to do, he would say this one word. Test the less die, which means my work is finished. And that's what Jesus was, a servant of God. Too many of us don't emulate what Jesus was and did. He didn't come to be served. He came to serve. He was, if y'all hear what I'm saying, he was a servant. And he demonstrated that on the night of his exodus. He took a towel, girded his waist, took a basin of water, got down on his knees, and became the lowly, emulated the lowly servant of that day. He washed his disciples' feet. And if Jesus could stoop that low, how come us as Christians want to brag on stuff and want to be the director of this and the president of that and the leader of this, help me teach, and, and be shown and be in, in the spotlight? Jesus backed up, got down low, and washed his disciples' feet. And when he got on that cross, he said, test the less die. Let me, let me, let, I, I told you I won't be long, but watch this. It started in a garden. In the garden of Eden when Adam and Eve transgressed the law of God. That's where it all started. Do I have a witness here? But it ended on a hill. I can't get y'all to help me here now. Yeah, Jesus died on a hill called Calvary. Am I right about it? It started with a tree. Yeah, Jesus said to them, don't touch the tree. Don't eat of the tree, lest you shall surely die. But it ended on a tree. Yeah, yeah, they took a tree and cut it and made a cross. And that's why Jesus died. It was the satisfaction for the debt that we owe. It ended on a tree. Am I right about it? Well, let me help you. It started, I told you, in a garden. But thank God, early one Sunday morning, in a garden, Jesus got up with all power in his hand. Aren't you glad about it? So let me tell you as I get ready to leave you. What, 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 what's finished? I'm glad y'all asked me. My pastor was here. He tell you the plan of salvation have been laid. I, I don't know about you, but I have access to the cross. I have access to the throne. I can call him Father, Father. Why? Because it's finished. Because he gave me access to him. Am I right about it? I am now, watch me, in air and joint air with Jesus Christ. Whatever Jesus is entitled to, y'all, I got it. See, some of y'all waiting to get to heaven to enjoy the glory of heaven. I got it right here and right now. I don't know about you, but I'm blessed right here. What, 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 what is finished? What is finished? Everything that they say would happen to him or wouldn't happen to him has already come to fruition. Well, they said he'd be in, in the book of Psalm, he'd be numbered with the transgressors. Well, they put two thieves beside him. Am I right about it? It's finished. They, they, they said that he would be bruised, but not one of his bones would be broken. They took a spear and pierced him in his side. They put nails in his hands and nails in his feet. Not one bone was broken. It's finished. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. They said that they would give him water and vinegar and gall to, to drink. And guess what? That's what they gave him. And he cried out, it's finished. What is finished? What is finished? I'm through. What is finished? He gave us his life so that we might have eternal life. Yeah, yeah. The thief come. To steal, St. John 10 and 10. To kill and destroy. Look what he said. But I'm come. See y'all the shot right there. Aren't you glad he came? We, we were supposed to die. We were supposed to lose everything. Even our minds. But Jesus said, I'm come that you might have life and have it what? More abundantly. It's finished, I tell you. What, 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 what's finished? What's finished? I'm now on speaking terms with the Lord. Y'all ain't saying nothing here now. I couldn't, I couldn't say our father. But since I've been born again, and since Jesus is in my life, I can say our father. Anybody glad it's finished? 
Anybody glad he took your place? Anybody glad? Watch me, watch. What else is finished? He's cleansed me from all of my sins. My sins, you ain't going to believe this, but watch this. My sins, past, present, and future, have been taken care of. L let me be transparent. I'm out, of your I'm out of your face. I sinned back in the day. I sin even now. And I don't know what tomorrow might bring, but I know I'm going to sin. I see some of y'all trying to figure out what he did. That ain't your business. I'm glad Jesus is in charge. Do I have a witness here? I'm glad he doesn't judge us. I'm glad he takes our sins and he took our sin. And the Bible says he's blotted out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us. The best way I could bring it to you is when I'm going way back now. But when we were in school, Pastor Mark and the teacher would write stuff on the chalkboard. Y'all don't have that today, but back in our day we had the chalkboard. And she, yeah, we had to, she had to take the eraser and erase it. Do I have a witness here? Well, when you look at your sins, they're on the chalkboard of life. But Jesus took the bloody eraser and he erased all of your sins. And he's erasing your sins right now. And when you sin tomorrow, he will be erasing your sins. Now, people, are, pe people don't erase them. People don't erase them. They can bring back what you used to do. But see, again, that's shouting material right there. Because look at the word they use, used to. They are sharing your testimony. They are saying, I remember what you used to be. But they are saying, you're not that now. Can somebody shout right here? It's finished. All of my sins have been paid for. And then finally, what else is finished? I'm guaranteed a heavenly home. Do I have a witness here? Yeah, some of y'all trying to get to heaven. I'm not trying. I'm already there. Do I have a witness here? A long time ago, I made a reservation. Listen here, I'm through, but when you go on a trip, especially now, you best make reservations early. Do I have a witness here? Yeah, the, the flights are full. The hotels are full. The rental cars are full. Am I right about it? But, but, but let me tell you, when I, when I get ready, not now, I, I'm not going right now, but when I get ready to go, I've got a hotel or room already reserved for me. In St. John chapter 14, I hear him say, in my father's house of many mansions, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. Well, if you're going to fly out of town, you got to reserve a seat on the airplane. I don't need no wings. Don't need no airplane. But some glad morning when this life is over, I... I with no wings, I'm going to fly away. What you mean, Pastor? Paul said it in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. He said it's a mystery, but we shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Am I right about it? Well, I'm through when I tell you, when you get to the city of your destination, you better rent a car before you get there. Well, I don't need... No rent a car, because I'm going home in the hands of God. He's going to catch me up. How you going to get transported, God? In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we'll be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. God, my reservation, God, my transportation. But one more thing is going to happen. When I get there, I will be glorified. My glorification. I'll have a brand new body. How? Because he already took care of it. What you see now is not what you're going to see over there. Don't look for me. Because you won't know me when you see me. Because John said, it does not yet appear what we shall be like. But when we see him, we shall be just like him. Is there anybody here want to be like him? I got a new home over 
in Zion. It's mine. It's mine. All mine. I got a new walk over in Zion. It's mine. It's mine. Is it yours? Is it yours? Am I going by myself? I don't believe I am. Is there anybody can say, Pastor Nelson, if you miss me from walking down here, you can't find me nowhere. Come on up. Come on up to bright glory. I, I'll be up there. It's finished. I got to leave you. But all your troubles are finished. All your trials are finished. All your sicknesses are finished. You're saying, but Pastor Nelson, I'm still going through. That's all right. It's already taken care of. I hear Paul said in Romans chapter 8, if God be for us, who can be against us? You say, but my heart is bleeding. I'm in trouble. My burden down. It's all right. He says, and we know that all things work together for your good. I believe I'm trying to tell you, you win going in. You win going in. What am I saying? You already got the victory. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout right now. Praise him right now. Give him a hallelujah right now. Give him a thank you, Jesus. With tears in your eyes, praise him. Broken heart, praise him. When praises go up, blessings come down. It's finished. You're just going through the motions. But it's finished. You can't fix it. It's already fixed. You can't work it out. Y'all hearing me? Are you hearing me? It's already worked out. God's got you. Don't you ever fear. I know what we're facing. I know where we are. And trust me, it bothers me. But I do understand. When the hand of God is in it, I come out on top. Can I get some help here? And when the hand of God is on us, we come out victorious. I don't know about tomorrow. But I know who holds my future. Aren't you glad about it? I'm glad that he's already taken care of everything for me. Every, I said everything. I don't care what it is. This, that, and the other is already taken care of. You take courage now. Take courage. Just know that if God allows it, he's got grace to sustain you. If God allows it, He's got power to carry you through. In the songs of the old church, he said, I, didn't believe, I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me here. Anybody know that God's got them? God bless you. Listen, if you're here today or you're watching virtually, number one, if you're lost and need a savior, it's finished. See, you're trying to get ready. It's already done. You're trying to get right. It's finished. He has already made the way plain for you. You just got to walk in it. What are you saying? Accept Jesus as your Savior. There's nothing else you can do. That's it. You're saying, well, brother, pastor, do I have to get this right? Or get... No, no, no. Just as you are. Come. I'm glad I came. I didn't have to get right or get, you know, ready. I just came. I responded to the call. I accepted the invitation. And Jesus is calling to you now. Whosoever will, come on. The table is spread. Everything is prepared for you. Just accept it. Will you come? So if you're not saved, you're seated in this building or you're seated somewhere in uh, Cyberland, God is reaching out to you. In Romans chapter 10, I, I've got to repeat it every Sunday, every Wednesday. Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 said, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, Believe in your heart that God raised them from the dead. You shall be saved. If that's you, let's do it together. Father God, I come to you confessing 
that I'm lost. But confessing that you're a Savior, I ask you now to come into my life. Take control. I believe that Jesus is Lord, that he died, he was buried, and on the third day, you, God, raised him up from the dead. Thank you, Lord. You're in my life. And right now, I'm saved. I'm saved. I am saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, thank God for salvation. Listen, if you are saved now, you need a church home. Let me help you real quick. Any church won't do. You and I have to be in a place where you can not just hear the word, but it makes sense to you, is relevant to you, and you can take it and apply it to your everyday situation. This is a good place to be. If you're watching virtually, send us a message in our inbox and we'll send you the necessary information. If you're here in this audience and you want to be a part of this fellowship, all you have to do is just stand right where you are. You don't even have to walk the aisle. Just stand where you are and we'll take you in. God bless you, my brother. Amen. God bless the family. Amen. Thank God for this family who's been visiting and we thank God that they have now, I thank God for this husband, amen, who, who knew when, when it was time, amen. Uh, thank God for his family. God bless you. I want to say to you, welcome to the St. Mark family. This is a place where everybody is somebody. Ain't no big shots here but Jesus Christ. We all are God's children. We all have a work to do. Y'all give them a hand and welcome to the family. Our uh, secretary, one of them, will get you the uh, needed information. You may be seated. God bless you. Anybody else? God bless you real good. Those in uh, Cyberland, if you would just send us, we will get you the membership form for you to fill out. Thank God for Jesus. Amen? Thank God for Jesus. Maybe, maybe, watch this. Maybe you are a part of a church, but it's been a while since you've been there. If you're watching me, it's time to contact your pastor, contact your church. You may not be able to get there because of COVID, but you can make them know that you're still a member and you still want to be faithful. Amen? Every person, here's what the pastor said. It is, watch me. It is required of a steward that they be found what? Faithful. Fa somebody say faithful. Everybody say faithful. See, it's ain't no hit and miss thing. You got to be where the Lord wants you to be so you can get what God's got for you. Amen. God bless you real good. God keep you is our prayer. Uh, thank God for all of those who are sick, those who are shut in, and those who are, uh, are struggling with whatever they are. We're praying for you. We're lifting you up. Now we're going to uh, together, uh, we're going to take the Lord's Supper. And there are some in... Uh, that are watching on the live, that are members that uh, have their communion, their communion, and then they're going to take it with us. Amen?
When evening was come, Jesus sat down with his disciples. He took bread and he broke it. And he blessed it. Father, we bless this bread. It represents your body that was broken for us. And for this we say thank you. Let us eat together. Also, he took the cup and he blessed it. Father, we bless this cup. It represents your blood that was shed for our sins. And for this, we say thank you. Let us drink together. Thank God for our virtual watchers and listeners we thank God for them we want you to know that we're so excited that you choose to join us we love you I love you I thank God for you you're such a blessing those of you that give using the app Giblify, may God bless you with a hundredfold blessing those of you that send in your offerings and your tithes that are members and that are not members that are ser searching for a church home. May he richly reward you. We're praying for you. We're praying for all that have requested prayer. Those that are going through times of bereavement, you're in our prayers. I'm begging and pleading with us before I take leave of you and we take, uh, you take leave of us that we will continue to mask up that we will continue to social distance and keep ourselves safe. Those who have not been vaccinated, I am encouraging you to please do so. You may save not just your life, but somebody else's life. Encourage your younger generation, your younger people to get their vaccine. I promise you, if we do our part, God will do his part, and we can get on the other side of this thing. Amen? God bless you. We love you. Father, thank you for those who are watching virtually. Bless them in a special way. As they take leave of us and we take leave of them, cover them with your blood. We pray that through this service, some soul has been saved, some life has been touched. Somebody has become a part of a word fellowship, whether it's this one or others. And as we take leave, we pray that you would just guide us and help us to be Christians 24-7. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my virtual crowd. Let's give them a hand, y'all, for joining in with us. Y'all be blessed. Take care. We love you. Be safe. To you that are here.